How about this YouTube channel? You know what? Let's let, yeah, let's talk about the YouTube channel first. Then we'll talk about your your endeavor into being a matchmaker. But look, so, how, what made you decide to start the YouTube channel and pick it and how it picked up so? Far? Okay, so back in St. Louis, I used to. My mom bought me a camera when I was in high school, and so I would go around to like Vashon games, to like Hazelwood East, like everything stuff that would be at my school. Club Liquid, like the skating rink. Club stuff. Liquid. Where's Club? Where was Club Liquid? Club Liquid was downtown. That oh, was, it's, it's was, the oh, it's society. What society turned into, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. it's been several different places. Yeah, it's been like twin different clubs. Toxic. It has yeah. been a whole. It was back in the day. It was facade. I, I think it was, I was even there. there. Okay, yeah, it's been a lot of things. So I used to record outside of those different events or in those events, and I just loved having the camera. When I went to Southern, I took it down there. Like I would just, you know, videotape everything. I remember cutting all my hair off one time and recording that. And so, right, no, another girl recorded. I, no, I didn't cut my hair. Somebody else did. Oh, oh Still, wow. in the dorm room. But anyway, so I actually lost all of my tapes. I came to Atlanta and one of my girlfriends moved out in the middle of the night from her apartment. And I had one box still at her house. Somehow I overlooked this box when I was like moving other stuff. And my box was thrown out. And so I lost all of my tapes. And so that really made me stop filming. Like, I was like, mm. I don't want to film anymore because I would lost, like, all of these memories. And I wasn't even trying to do YouTube at the time. It yeah. was just me for my own self. And so I was starting, let's fast forward to living in Atlanta. And I actually was going to open up a hair salon with a young woman that I was friends with. And so we were in the process of opening up a hair salon. And during that time, we decided, you know what, we should do a YouTube channel. So we shot our first YouTube video and we weren't able to use it because the audio isn't, wasn't right. Mm -hmm. And so the guy was just telling us like, the audio is not really good. You guys will need to refilm it. Well, subsequently we decided not to open up the business together and parted ways and things of that nature. But I was still thinking like, Nia, you like to film, you know, that's something that you're passionate about. You're, I'm also very creative. And so I felt like starting a YouTube channel would be a good outlet for me to use my own creativity, to do something that I'm really passionate about. I think whatever we do in life, we need to do something that we enjoy because you spend so much time doing that thing. So for me, creating that YouTube channel, that was like, wow, this is what I really enjoy. And it was so scary. Like it's scary to post something on the internet and have all these people look <laughs> at it or have people pass judgments on you mm -hmm. and, you know, it, it's like, and I, I was telling you this, like, sometimes I try to be a perfectionist and you can't always be a perfectionist. Like you need to just get content out, you know, yeah. but it was just something that I, I enjoyed and that made me happy. And my whole thing about life right now is the peace, the happiness, just doing things that, that bring positive vibes to me. So, so with the YouTube channel, I, I mean, I've perused a lot of the different topics on here. What is your favorite topic that's been on there so far? My favorite, let me think. It's crazy because this was a video that I didn't even get like a ton, a ton of, well, no, I have a couple of them. So the dating online, that was one that I liked doing as well as where I talked about having worked in a restaurant. Okay. So that was, that was, <laughs> that was something that, that I definitely liked because working in a restaurant is just such a crazy experience. Like you run into so many different characters and and things of that nature. And then I like the online dating video because that's something that's really interesting right now. People are, a lot of people are online dating. So it's something that a lot of people can relate to. Like what has what your experience been with online dating? I mean, I, I know from- Barcelona, Right, yeah, well, but, I would say that overall it's been a positive experience. I mean, I've met some good people and then I've met some people that I wouldn't, you know, really be interested in, but, I do think that when you're a person that's super busy and, or you have a lot going on, like, you know how I was telling you, I travel to mm -hmm. go to work. Like, I'm, I'm on the highway a lot. I'm doing this or that. Online dating has been one of those things where I can use this as a way to meet people because I'm not out all the time. And then also when you're out, any random guy is just walking up to you. Whereas <laughs> online, you can kind of go through and pick, you know, mm, yeah, nay, you know, kind of thing like that. But also, what I would say with online is being careful because so many people online are looking for hookups. So mm. you have to really be able to 
decipher or you have to figure out what people are really looking for. Same thing as if you meet a person on the street, because a lot of people now are very into quick things. They want something quick. They're not necessarily looking for relationships and everything like that. So you have to be careful the same way as how if you're just dating somebody on the street. So I'm I'm on I want I want to talk about this first date expectations of video that you did recently. Mm-hmm. I'm not I don't know the brother's name that you had. Marco and he's from St. Louis. Oh, he's from St. Louis too. Okay. He's from St. Louis. So like so first dates I think are the most contrived thing ever. Okay. If I can yeah. just get past that and we just go do some bullshit, I'm cool. That's okay. my perspective. Maybe okay. that's okay. I'm an old man, you know, uh-huh. and that's just, you know I, I, the other day I was realizing, I was like, yo, like, it doesn't, like, yo, the, the, the idea of like, yo, I got to do this and make sure all this, like, okay, no, if I wasn't going to, if I'm not going to do that forever with her, then I don't need to do this at the beginning. <laughs> so I need to figure out where my, my middle ground is between that. So with that being said, what are your, some of yours first date, date expectations from what your experience is? Uh, especially, I mean, I've seen a video about me for people yeah, that have yeah, yeah. My expectations are just number one, like I'm not super strict on where we go on the first date. We kind of talked about that, about Mm -hmm. like how much you spend when you go on a first date with someone. And one of the things I was saying is it's going to be different depending on the man. So everybody can decide what they feel comfortable in spending. And that's okay. Now, I still want to go somewhere that I think is, is nice. You know what I'm saying? Or at least somewhere where I feel like you put some effort into it. I mean, I could do a Starbucks date maybe for a first date. I've never done that before, but really? I'm not saying, I've never done that before. Cause I don't, I don't really like Starbucks like that. Like, neither. I've never spent money at Starbucks in my life. Yeah. I just, that's not really a place that I'll be like, Ooh, I don't God. like coffee. I, mean, I, drink, I do drink coffee. But yeah, I don't like coffee at all. So they, that's half the, that's 95% the, okay. of they, they stuff so, on me. Picking somewhere that we can go out to, but one of the things I was talking about with first date is just the man kind of, you know, pursuing the woman. I do think that a man should pay on the first date and the next date and the next date. (laughs) But but that doesn't mean that eventually the woman isn't supposed to come out of her pocket as well. I don't think it's all about using somebody or anything like that. But I do think initially that the gentleman should be paying for this. Now, one thing the brother didn't say that I, I do, I do like a woman to act like she want to pay and I just take care of it. I don't know. Is this like a thing like, oh, no, I guess it. Okay, I, so you want them to kind of pull out their card? No, like, oh, girl. No, oh, okay. I got this. Oh, okay, okay. Even though she she could play be playing me and just like knowing I am, but I just like yeah. the emotion. Like, no, no, you good. Don't even trip. And me. see, here's the thing though. The caveat with this is what about the man where you pull it out and he's like, Yeah, go ahead and take <laughs> But then as a woman, you know what it is already. Yeah. Well, I would be like, no, nah, I'm just playing and put my stuff back. So I'm I'm gonna put you on a special so, so on our other show just posted. I just put it up. Doja on there went on a date with a girl. She uh told him he said, Hey, you know, I'm a single dad. And I'll have, and she's like, well, we can go Dutch or whatever. We, me and uh, his other co-host, we told him you still needed to pay when you got there. And he's like, no, but she said. That's how thinking about, like I said, his mentality. So he's like, okay, yeah. If you say we're going to go Dutch, we're going to go Dutch. Like we're going to follow through with this plan. I would, <laughs> so I would never, that, those words would never even come out of my mouth. And was the reason why she was saying they should go Dutch because he was a single parent? Yeah, and he was like, yo, you know, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm kind of tight with money for a little while. And she was like, you, you know, she really wanted to kind of hang out and, and, and get to meet him and everything. Because he wrote so this big... Me, do you think that a man should discuss his financial, or a woman, either way, should discuss their financial situation when they first meet someone? Because I don't ever tell people what I have going on financially when I first meet them. I think that's a little bit much. Ah, that's, that's I'm going to caution and say, no, that ain't none of your business. Cause and I don't know. I don't know you like said, that. Let's go to a park. I'm gonna go out and get this ten dollar bottle of wine. Yeah. I'm gonna go get these, you know, grapes and stuff from Snooks or wherever. He could have put something together that didn't allude to the fact that he was having financial issues. Yeah. No. 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 I, I agree with you. I. I just ain't never. I just ain't never seen that work in my lifetime. You know, in general, and just I just don't like to have that as a, a stepping stone within. Uh, a dating experience that's just me but but with him i think he kept on saying he's like yo for real i was like dude you got he was like but she said i was like dude but it don't matter and then uh sleepy was like man i'm just so disappointed in you like why are you letting this happen? no 
Uh-uh. So what so what has been the craziest dating experience you've had like since you're in this space with this like